Yo, what's up guys? We've got another image sent in and we're going to be working with this really nice portrait image today. So this image has been sent in by Danny here and I'll be putting all of his links down in the description and you guys can go give him a follow down there. So if we quickly look at his style, you can see there's a lot of 35 and 50 millimeters for these portraits and just really rich tones, those nice warm shadows and we are going to be working with an image down here so really unique style guys this one right here trying to recreate this edit guys so let's get into Lightroom and I highly recommend guys if you guys like the style go check out his presets over on his website here so I'll be linking them down in the description if you guys come over here you can just have a look whether you like his presets or not and yeah we will get into Lightroom and see what we can do so here's the image he has sent us the raw unedited one and then the edited one over here so first thing we'll do is just bump up that exposure uh, let's drop the blacks because we need those dark rich blacks as you can see quite a bit and then I'm going to bring down the whites as we look quite bright up top there. And then highlights a little bit more flat. And then shadows can stay about there for now. I'll do the curves and then I might tweak these a little later. Okay, so I'm going to do... The red, green, and blue channels, and then this curve. Okay, so that's the curves done and I'll just bring down the saturation because adding in contrast brings a lot in there and I'll up the shadows because we can see a lot more detail. So you take your cheek for example, I can see a lot more of that in the, in the background where the shadows are. So I'm going to bring them up and I know to do this differently from the curves because the curves affect the image slightly differently. So for example... Uh, if I move this one, or maybe maybe the midtones, for example, we can see how it doesn't bring out detail. It just makes areas harsh or fades the area if you bring them down. Whereas up here, these actually bring out detail. You can see what is under the dark areas if you lift them. So that's what I think when I do that. Just tweak a few of these. Okay, I think we look good. Just a little bit of um, clarity there. So curves, I'll just explain what I did. So uh, we've got really nice rich shadows and blacks. So over here, you want to add quite a bit of contrast in the darkest of areas. So that's the shadows and blacks here. So a really slight S curve and then there's a bit of an extra drop around the shadows and blacks. And you do that for each of the curves there. And then in this curve, you can see we've got a lot of shadows that are quite harsh, quite far into the image. So they're pretty close to the midtones and it's quite dark. And as you can see... That's sort of how it would be exposed, but we want extra shadow and nice harsh blacks. So bringing it down a bit with that one there. So I think it was about there. 
so that's how you get the contrast and that for that image so if we come down I'll just do something quick with the tones here our yellows are really saturated so I'll just bring them down for now um, and I'll just make them a bit more orange okay so we're looking a little purple and cold so we're going to add in a lot of warmth with the split toning coming down let's start with the highlights so let's add a real nice yellow to the highlights you can really see it up in the sky here and even on her skin but even way back there where it's quite white that's now quite a yellow about there about that and then for the shadows we kind of want to do the same but I want to add a slightly more of a rich orange just slightly and then what I'm going to do is shift the balance over in this direction and that just pushes more of these tones the highlights into the shadows area so you'll have so if I make this a more obvious color like purple if you go all the way here you're getting all the tones of the shadows you're putting in and that way is the opposite we want just slightly richer oranges in the in the blacks we want to keep it slightly more in the blacks those rich orange oranges and have those kind of the yellow highlights coming in kind of moving through into the mid-tones and then not quite all the way through into the blacks where these nice rich oranges will be okay uh, back up to uh, HSL here so don't worry about the brightness of her, of the subject because I'm going to come in with a brush and brighten her and I, I know I'm going to do that so that's why I haven't been using that as a gauge I use like the sky or say this truck here as a gauge of how bright things should be when I'm doing exposures up here and stuff because I know that it's very very likely that he has brushed the subject to make her brighter than it is the background like he wouldn't have brushed the background okay so uh, these reds could be a little more saturated And then the skin just a bit. And if we come up, I think we look a little too warm all over. So just going to cool it down a bit. Now, I think if we come down, sharpening down a bit. And I think that's it. We don't need any grain or vignetting so if we move on to brushes now if we just grab this one here right so i'll grab this top one here I've, we've, I've got them all placed already turn them on you can see where it's affecting so pretty much all the skin and then you want to do things like uh, for this one we'll just brighten it and we will increase the exposure And then for this one, I'll just show you where it's affecting. So all her face, what you want to do is drop the clarity. So it's going to really smooth out the skin. And then the opposite, if you go increase the clarity. So I'm going to drop that down a lot. And then it can look too soft sometimes. So bringing up the sharpening with that. And then sharpening is just a bit, it's a bit easier on skin than it is clarity clarity will make the skin look really rough really quick so keeping a bit of sharpening in there just so the clarity doesn't make the skin look too soft okay 
um, if we move on to this one here so the lower half of her we want to pretty much do the same lowering the clarity and upping the contra uh, sharpness a bit And then just a filter here, just over her face here. So we we don't want it too feathered, otherwise you'll just see the brightness increased in the middle of her face. I want her face to be lit kind of evenly, almost probably looks more natural. I'm only just going to do a tiny bit. So that's why I'd keep the feathering really low because then uh, the fall off is really quick and it will cover her face more evenly so just a little bit of exposure and that looks pretty good just And that's it guys, I'm just going to leave it there, we look pretty darn similar there, and yeah, uh, go give him a follow down in the description guys, and I'll also link to his presets, so if you guys want his presets, I recommend checking those out, um, yeah, a lot of value there, also in my own presets, you guys can check them out as well, they'll all be down in the description. And if you guys are into video editing, I'll put a link to a, a list of videos where you can learn color grading. So make sure you check that out if you're interested in editing some video. And yeah, comment down below who you guys want to see. Make sure they don't have too many followers. That way they will send in an image and I can do a tutorial on them when they send me an image. So comment people. They have great images, but not too many followers. That really, really helps me. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll be catching you in the next one. Cheers.